Good morning. Ish, it's 1130. Resale Rabbit here. I am at a local antique shop. Buddy of mine owns it. I had him look at that cuckoo clock I got yesterday. He said in working conditions about 50, 60 bucks. He says really cool it has the box, but it's not worth a whole lot. Um, you know, I was thinking about 50 to 100, so kind of on par with what he's saying. Um, so I'm gonna send it to a local auction company because I want no part of shipping this thing for a 50, 60 dollar item. It's not worth it. Send it to a local auction company, I'll probably get around that. But right now, well, I'm still at the antique shop. Next, I'm gonna go to a vacant storefront. Uh, it used to be uh, a hardware store. They sold like fasteners and stuff. Holy crap, I don't need the heat on. It is hot out. Um, anyways, it's 7,000 square feet. I'm going to see if I can rent it for three weeks. Because I'm starting to think about the next warehouse sale. And I would love to have more space for it. It's... I don't want to say it's out of the way. It is in town. But it's on the edge. Like on one end of town. Whereas my warehouse is right centrally located in the middle. So it's not as convenient of a location. But if we can get more items out, we can make more money. Uh, we're going to have to... I know it's only been a few weeks since we had our last sale. But we got to have another one. I've got another uh, fourth truckload coming. Uh, it's shipping out from Georgia tomorrow. So probably Friday or so. Thursday, Friday will be here. I don't even have a place to put it. So I'm going to have to figure that out. So... Uh, it's time to sell some of this stuff. Additionally, those razors, I had a pallet of razors that would not sell, so I started selling them by the case. I sold 10 cases already, I've got three left. So by case, I mean like six cases in one box. Um, I was making smaller lots that I can ship out. They were uh, definitely a hit over on the JLN distributing Facebook group. So let's go take a look at this space. I don't have access to it, but we can look in the windows and then I'm gonna discuss it with the landlord shortly. So this is it here. You can see we're on a pretty busy road. Uh, inside is basically completely empty. A couple of offices. And then there's some windows on the front of the building. Um, around the back, there is, looks like there's a service store here that we're not going to use. There's decent parking, not great. I would have liked to see more, but, um, you know, parking actually may end up being a big issue. Maybe we won't take this space because on our street, see, here's the other thing. We've got an overhead door in the back so we can haul stuff. We can get pallets in this way. Oh, it's icy. You can kind of see in there. It's pretty open. But one thing that's going to be an issue is parking. On my street, we can park on the street. Here, I mean, we can have staff park back here. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think there's some nine regular spots. A handicap spot and then two more there so 11 regular spots and then people are gonna start parking up there which is gonna upset the other tenants so it's actually less parking than I have because I've got 10 spots that are designated for me but then I've also got um, the my neighbor it's only him there so we can kind of use some of his spots so probably about 15 of my parking lot and then the street we have none of that here. So that could be a problem. Maybe this place won't work. Let's, um, of course on the weekend, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because a lot of these offices here look like places that would probably be closed on the weekend. There's a space for rent. And there's a thrift store here. But they're gonna be, they're definitely gonna be open on the weekend. So I honestly don't know. That might not be a good space. It's nice, the, the, the building itself is fine. It's just parking is gonna be a huge problem. I don't know. 
might need to look around for something else. So, I came to the warehouse. It's like 11.30. What time is it right now? 11.09 p.m. And I'm still here. And I'm not leaving anytime soon. So, I've got a truckload coming tomorrow. I was anticipating it, you know, around noon, 1 o'clock. That's usually when they show up. So, this place is a mess. I have no room for a truckload. The plan was to get it all, come in in the morning, get it all cleared out so we can unload the truck, get a full load in here. Well, it didn't work out. I came here at 8.30 to, uh, I met a, a buddy of mine here. He need, he's moving. He needs some moving boxes. So when he got off work, I met him over here to give him a stack of boxes that I've been saving for him. Well, while I was here, the truck pulled in. Now, we're not going to unload it tonight. That wasn't even a consideration. But that means we're going to, first thing, when I get in tomorrow, I'm going to be unloading. I will have no time to clean or straighten up. Let me show you what this place looks like. I've been working for a few hours now. So we got a few boxes of trash here. Oh, this is a new purchase today, a trailer dolly. Someone posted it brand new in the box, 60 bucks, so I bought it. This is like 100, 150, something like that. Uh, this area, anyways, this area was full. I emptied that out. I did not put it on those shelves. It was full and the shelves were full. I put a couple of things on the shelves, but that's it. Um, this area here, where there's a bunch of stuff. I still need to get this pallet of boxes out and some loose cardboard is getting thrown away. Uh, but we're, we cleared, I cleared out this area. Uh, these finally sold 200 bucks. They're picking them up at 8 AM tomorrow. I would just leave them outside when I get here in the morning, but it's going to be raining. Uh, I cleared this out. This wasn't much. It was just the last of the razors. I put them up there. Uh, this pallet was all of those, which I'm not getting any bites on it, so I'm going to put them in the next warehouse sale. Uh, what else? I need to clear off these shelves over here uh, because I've got stuff going on there tomorrow. I put the green carts, small ones, in here. So we cleared out most of this corner. It doesn't look too bad. Um, I still need to, I'm gonna get rid of these empty pallets. I'm just gonna stack them up and we'll bring them outside in the morning. And you break down these boxes. I need to find a place for these carts. And I need to find a place for that. And then of course this, and then this area's done. Oh, and I need to clear this pile out, which won't be too bad. Now let's take a walk over here. Look at that, all of these Keurigs. These came on a pallet, or on, a, on those pallets that you saw. Uh, I posted them, I know I don't. I hate doing Facebook Marketplace, but I posted them on Facebook Marketplace for 45 each. Let's see if we can do something with that. So I gotta move these because I can't fit a pallet through here. So all of these have to move, be moved, or this one could probably stay. And then this all needs to be cleared out because the rest of the truckload is going here. Now we're gonna leave some of these pallets here. The plan is that one, that one, that one, and that one. I'm gonna break down. I'm gonna put these three pallets there. Then I'm gonna shove those in front of it. We'll be able to get three rows of pallets here. I gotta do something with that. It's all going on shelves, I guess. So then we'll have three rows here. I'll have space for a few here, and then one right where that cart's sitting. And then the rest here, and hopefully, They'll all fit. It's going to be raining. It's all paper goods coming. So I can't wheel them outside and leave them there until the truck leaves and then pull them in down there. That is not an option. Another thing, a lot of people have been asking about the other unit with the fireplace on the other side of that wall. I really want to make it work. I'm struggling to make it work. So it's going to be $1,300 a month. Uh, landlord will not do any of the work, <coughs> at least not at that price. This is what he offered me. He said $1,300 a month, I take it as is, and I can do all the work myself. Or $2,500 a month, he wants me to re-up an, an additional three years on my lease. That'd be four and a half years, and it'll be $2,500 a month. I did the math. Four years, an extra $1,200 a month on top of the $1,300. would be $57,000. I'm not paying fifty-seven grand for it. I think it was fifty-seven. It was a few days ago I did the math. So I had uh, some contractors come and give me a bid. Um, I'm told it's going to be about 12 grand to do the work, which I'm considering. Here's the thing. So I've got a business here. Um, you know, we have customers and whatnot. That's one of the big reasons I want to take that. So we have a front entrance. So we don't have customers coming in this nightmare. 
Um, that's not going to be, you know, as I'm running the numbers and everything, it's not going to be enough space. The space that we're going to be building out is not going to be enough. It's just not possible. I'm trying to look at every possible way, and it's not. And there's no more room to build out any further, further than I am. I'm going to move this wall to basically be in line here. I could move it to the bathrooms, but it's going to be more cost. And I'm still going to need to leave this area clear to get through there. So that's not an option. And I can't go further that way because I need the fire door. Well, what's currently a fire door, but we use that door for warehouse sales. So that's not an option either. So I don't know. One thought is to remove that fancy showroom altogether. Just complete, make it this warehouse and then just have an opening of the nice office. But that's not ideal because you're going from a nice office area into a warehouse. It's wide open. So I don't know what I want to do. What I'm really hoping is my neighbor moves out. He doesn't want to. I don't know if you can see there, that line there, and then right there, that's sheetrock. There used to be an overhead door connecting my space to his. That would cost like nothing to remove. I'd pay my guy, I could do it myself, but I'd rather just pay someone to do it. He'd probably charge me like 100, 200 bucks to remove it. And now I've got, you know, 3,000 square feet of space there. But, I have a neighbor there. There's another space further down on the other side of this wall that has opened up. It's about the same, it's a little bit bigger than his space. Would cost me about 2,500 a month, but I'd spend 10 grand blowing a hole in this wall. How do I know it's 10 grand? Because that's what I paid, or eight grand is what I paid to put that hole in for the door when I moved in because I installed, well, I didn't install it, but I had that done. Uh, if you remember the video, that entry door was in the middle. There was no overhead door. That's not ideal. Eight grand to blow into there, not ideal. So I asked him, I asked him if he wants to move into there and then I would take that space. And I told him my plan and everything. He says, well, I have zero interest in moving, which I don't blame him because moving sucks. Plus it would be more expensive for him. So my thought is to try and negotiate that a little bit cheaper and then pay for a portion of his or basically pay more here and then I take this space and then I'm gonna offer him, I don't know, $5,000 for him to move. Maybe that'll entice him, maybe not. Maybe it's worth paying 10,000. But at that point, I might as well just open up that wall. Although this would be more ideal because it's right across from the loading dock. So I've got a lot to think about. If I did that, my total cost for his space, the space I'm in now, and the one in the front will be about six grand a month. Right now I'm paying 5,900 a month for this warehouse and my other warehouse. So it'd be nice, it would be a hundred bucks more, but it would all be under one roof, which is well, well worth it. But I really don't know what I want to do about that. I don't like my options. So that's kind of my thought process right now, what I'm thinking on, that's why it's been held up so long. Um, the contractor said he's ready to start next week, uh, which is awesome, but it's not gonna be enough space for me if we do that plan, so. I don't know. Perfect world or perfect scenario is he moves so I can take his space and then we do something with that. Then I don't need to worry too much about space there because we can still use that. One of my main thoughts, reasons why I wanted to do this in addition to having the front door was to be able to have that entire space for storing pallets. Well, if the neighbor moves out, then I'll have his space to store pallets and I can put some racking in there and actually get a forklift. Can't do that here because, well, good luck getting a forklift around that corner with a pallet on it regularly without knocking stuff over. So anyways, that's kind of the update on there. So I'm gonna keep working on getting this cleaned out. It is now 11.19. I'm tired. If I get too tired where I'm not being productive, I'm just gonna go home and go to bed because, you know, four hours of sleep is four hours of sleep, whether I go to bed now and wake up in four hours or stay here for another three hours and wake up in seven hours. It's the same, but I'm gonna be tired in the morning. I'm gonna be more productive if I'm awake tonight. So I'm gonna try and get this as much done as I can tonight to limit what needs to be done tomorrow. The reason we're so, I couldn't do this earlier today is because I had someone call in sick and uh, there's so much going around right now. So I had to kind of cover for him and get this done. The joys of being a business owner.
But uh, we have a date set for our next set warehouse sale. And it's going to be, and let's get, I gotta get back to work, so I'm only gonna give you so much. Uh, but it is, I'm pulling up my calendar here. Uh, it's going to be Thursday, March 26th, through Sunday, March 29th, then a couple days off again, and we pick up again Thursday, April 2nd, through Sunday, April 5th. That's going to be our next warehouse sale. I'm getting pretty close to being caught up on these videos, but I don't know if you're going to see this before, before I have the sale. If not, I'm going to do another quick update video like I did last time. It might be cutting it close. I don't know. We'll find out. So anyways, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I'll show you my progress and I'll show you that truck tomorrow morning. So got a little progress done. Stacked up some pallets. Uh, some of these were in the loading dock too. Got this area clear. I can put two pallets here. Got my pallet of boxes out. And uh, that's about it so far. All right, this is looking pretty nice here. I moved the pallet of tools over there. I got rid of the two carts that were sitting here. Uh, the reason I moved the pallet of tools over there is so we don't need to try and guess how they'll fit. So these two will be outside. That's going to be picked up tomorrow. So it should be able to fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We'll put the leave the last pallet on here. That'll be twelve. So that's almost half the truck. I believe there are twenty-eight pallets on this truck. So with 12 down, that's 16 more we have to fit back over here. Also, this happens, which just makes my day miserable. I look like I got in a fight. Um, I wash my hands a lot. You know, my hands get dirty and dusty. Look at this. I washed my hands probably five minutes ago. They're already dusty. Uh, this happens when I wash my hands. They just get so dry and cracked. I use good hand soap. I use good hand lotion multiple times a day, and yet it still happens. It's really only in the winter, but it absolutely sucks. It's terrible. All right, it's 7 a.m. Uh, I basically went home shortly after I showed you that. So these are not getting picked up at 8 a.m. Uh, they had to push it back because freezing rain, the guy who's picking it up. I am running on four hours of sleep right now. I am really tired. Let's get this place ready for a truck. Once this truck is unloaded, I very well might go home and take a nap. Okay, so we started. We got two pallets off the floor and some of the boxes out. What I need to do, though, is get this pallet emptied. It's only six boxes under this stuff. Get that pallet emptied and get those two pallets emptied. And I don't know if I'm going to have time for that once I get all this stuff off the floor. Man, it's going to be close. Maybe some of these pallets are double stacked and it won't take as many pallet spaces. Because this one, I really don't want to take down. But uh, I also, just wheeling empty pallets through here. Yeah, this is really tight. So I need to get, at the very least, those three moved before we start loading the truck in. Alright, got some stuff off the floor and eliminated this pallet. Stacked it all up there. So we have this area cleared out. We're pretty clear over here. I decided not to take this one apart, but the other two I did. And the reason is because I think we can go two rows here. So that might help. I got to just move these three things and we're ready to go. So we're ready to unload. Looks like they double stacked a lot of them, so we're gonna have plenty of space. So about halfway through and we're side loaded. So I got the neighbor coming with the forklift to pull them off for us. And we are all emptied out. Just looks like something got left behind in here. Uh, doilies, all right. All right, so this load, here's what I got. I spent 3,500, I'm told, paper goods. He didn't know how many pallets it was gonna be, but uh, looks like we got some nap folded napkins. I think those are the same. More folded napkins, some toilet paper. Oh, this might be paper towel. 
Oh, this stuff sells really well. I don't know what this is. Oh, cake trays, like you would get a cake in the, at the grocery store in. We got some towel dispensers, bags. These will make good use. This looks like a shoe box. If I can get it off. Yeah. For some reason, shoes. I'm not gonna complain. Um, and a coffee maker. Here, this looks like an entire pallet of these wipes. These will do so well in the sale. We got a whole pallet of them. Here we've got more paper towel, toilet paper. Uh, what do we have here? Sea fold towel. And I don't even know what's in that box. We've got some dispensers, uh, toaster. What are these? Doilies. Uh, some sort of floor matting. It's weird. I thought it would be rubber. It's like a hard plastic. What do we have here? Gloves, I guess. More bags. Um, perforated food service wrapper roll. I have no idea. Cellophane, maybe. Product Co. One roll. Sheets per row. Nice if one of these was open so I can look at it. All right, let me grab a knife. So it is, yeah, cellophane. And then we've got spoons. They're plastic, but they look like metal, so they're fancy. Uh, looks like more bags. This one's collapsing, but we've got um, toilet paper or paper towel. That's probably paper towel. Uh, this is, I think, takeout containers. I don't know what these are. Napkins, maybe? Fall-themed napkins. Uh, we get printer stands for some reason on here. This. Box of two sand-weighted base. I have no... Oh, I think you can see one here. I think it's... Basically bags of sand to be uh, weights for something. Uh, and that's it up here. That's the tools that have been in here. Over here, we've got a full pallet of something. And then we've got a small pallet of, looks like paper plates. I'm trying to see, okay. Van Gogh's Garden 16 Count 3 Ply Dinner Paper Art. I'm gonna guess napkins, maybe? More toilet paper, uh, paper cups, or yeah, paper cups. Over here, we've got just a whole bunch of different things. It's a lot of volume on this palette. Start your day school tray. I don't know, they feel like tag board, like cardboard, like a paper plate would be made of. Um, I have no idea what this is. And then over here, more cups. We've got a Gaylord of something in there. Here's a whole palette of this latex paint additive. Don't know if that's worth anything. We've got, whatever this is, is lithium batteries. Oh, Ryobi string trimmer for some reason. This isn't even, this isn't even uh, wrapped with it. So I'm gonna guess they just set it on there by mistake. Uh, we've got more cups and whatnot. Here, I think these are cups. Yeah, these are those weird cone cups. I don't know what's up in here. You can see whatever that is. Oh, uh, we got more stuff here. And then this blue palette is Meyer HBA. We got a palette of cups here. There's another blue palette of Meyer HBA right there. And let's see if I can get back here. This looked like a good one. 
this is part of the paper products. Uh, so we got say Kleenex, yep. Kleenex, a heating pad. Looks like this came out of CVS. We got shaver. Those wall boxes we saw are these popcorn shapers. First aid kits, another heat, oh, it's the same heating pad. Hot and cold pack. So this one looks he like it's heavy in HBA. Some of this stuff might actually go pretty well on eBay. Another shaver down here. Uh, here's that Meyer palette again. It's supposed to be Meyer HBA. Can't see much in there, but I'm not sure. Let me climb up top so we can get an upper view. So here's more HBA. That box right there is full of cologne. So we're gonna throw that on eBay. Uh, then we've got another pallet of something there. And then that last pallet right there is all underwear and thermal pants. So I paid 3,500 for all the paper products. I paid, I wanna say, 950 each on these blue pallets i paid i think 900 on that and then 1500 on that they're 500 pairs there so three bucks a piece so i'm starting to go through this this is all paper plates each box contains six 12 packs of these that sure doesn't look like 12. where is this 12 packages to a case oh 12 eight counts i don't know where i got six so each one has 12 of these eight count packages. And there are, let's see, five by six, so 33 boxes of them. So this looks like it's mostly cases of napkins. Um, some of these are, like this is a Van Gogh painting. Uh, right there, Van Gogh's garden. It's actually written out on there more. Uh, but then we've also got boxes of plates. And this, I think, is cups. But most of this is napkins of different styles and whatnot. Sort of Valentine, probably more plates like these. Um, what else? I wonder what these little boxes are. Shades of Autumn, three-ply beverage, so maybe some sort of cups. Nope, cocktail napkins. This might be a bit of a tough sell individual. I might end up just selling them by the pallet. Oh, uh, what else? These are those school trays we looked at. I wonder what these are. Are these the same thing? I think so. Looks like we've got some cups on top here. So this box is a little heavy. I cut it open, but I haven't looked at it yet. Napkins. Looks like uh, folded napkins for dispensers. Dusty. Uh, let's come over here. I want to look these up. Let's see if these are worth anything. They're not. There's one listed for $13.95, free shipping on eBay. None sold. Looks like they were manufactured about seven years ago, though. Uh, that would be what November. Th oh, oh one three one thirteen. So about seven years ago. So I'm going to make sure this stuff is still any good and doesn't go bad. This stuff must have been sitting in a warehouse for a while. Uh, but we've got a whole pallet of it here. I don't even know what this stuff does. Uh, let's see. Helps eliminate brush and roller marks. Oh. Uh, I don't see anything that says how long it should last. So I might need to uh, look up on their website. I mean, it's, it's not dried or anything. It's still liquid inside. Don't want to lose that. We've got, now this, Ryobi trimmer. Let's see what this looks like inside. I don't even think I was supposed to get this. I have a feeling they sell a lot of lawn tools. I have a feeling this was uh, just set on top of this pallet and forgotten about. Sure looks new to me. I'm gonna actually test it out, but here's the nice thing. We've got a battery and a charge. Oh, maybe that's not new. Uh, but I've got a battery and charger here, so that means I can test more of those if I don't find any batteries. All right, what else do we have? Takeout containers, 
Uh, chicken salad something. Little foam containers. I think that's the same thing as these. What are these? Six count donuts. So probably donut boxes. This is uh, one that intrigues me. So this has blue wrap on it. So this might be... Turns out this isn't Meyer. The banana boxes there are Meyer. This, all he knows is major retailer. He doesn't know where. So uh, I'm curious about these popcorn shapers, if these are worth anything. None sold, but I should have no problem getting a buck a piece for these from uh, the warehouse sale. People will see that and uh, get ideas. I think I can get this in. Left hand, Kobe. All right, let's see what else. This is the palette that I'm curious about because I know I paid up for these. Uh, the top is gonna be these popcorn shapers. So also on top, as seen on TV, simply fit for, oh, that's got some weight to it. <laughs> oh, these things. Oh, hey, they'll sell. So we've got one, two, three, four, it looks like five cases of these. And then this, for what I paid for it, I hope this isn't junk. Well, I need a knife to get this plastic off. All right, I don't know what it is. Okay, maybe these are just mixed items because we've got a cookie press here and these loom kits. WM Wright Co, that's, oh, that's Wilton. So I should be able to get something for those. But I don't think that's what was originally in this box. Because look at the, the extra space. Although this is the same company, so let's open another one. This one's already kind of open. This looks like it might be basically a palette full of Wilton stuff. We got beads. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe it's not Wilton. Uh, some of these knitting needles. Those? I didn't realize they sold these in such small quantities. Little water bottle. Okay. So I was expecting more health and beauty type stuff. Which obviously this isn't the case. It looks like it should be some good sellable items. I'm a little bummed out that we're getting paper products since, you know, I've got 20 something pallets of paper products. Uh, let's go down another box and look at them. So this one, ooh. A couple of these cookie presses. More of these beads. I think these are the ones that you melt to make things with. Cake decorating stuff. We've got a big heavy bowl here. Three piece bowl set, so I think this is all gonna be Wilton stuff. You never know. So here's the palette of underwear. I'm gonna crack a couple of these open. It should be 500 pairs at three bucks per pair. And it's gonna be a mix of underwear and thermal pants. So these are the pants, base layer pants. And they're all different sizes. Here, let's get this one open. Hanging uh, Champion brand. A lot of this is the Champion brand. Um, $11.99. And then I'm assuming I paid three bucks for. I don't know if I paid three each or three for the two pack. Here's another type of box here. Oh, just ripped that one a little bit. 
not a big deal. Most of this is going on the sale. Uh, the Champion, this is a two pack. These are like 21 bucks. Is it on here? No. Oh, you can't even see what I'm looking at. These are like 21 bucks at Target. Um, I got them for three per box. So there are 500 total on here. Uh, looks like they uh, labeled them as they were counting them. So 500 total. What in the world is this? I am going to try to pull one of these out and hope I don't have a big collapse. Will come out easy. Yeah. It's like taking down a load bearing wall. All right. It says serving or Irving paper products. I don't know if that's a brand or if it's supposed to say serving. It's not easy to open these with one hand. Looks like paper tablecloths, maybe. So I got a whole pallet of these. So I'm seeing why I paid 3,500 for these paper products, but overall it's still a lot of volume and decent stuff. It'll be good for the sale. I'm gonna try and get this back in there. There, you never know, it came off. This is a whole pallet of cups, of paper, 16 ounce cups. I wanna see what's up there. Let me uh, see if I can safely, oh, that's kind of collapsing on me. All right, Dooney. Uh, table covers. So basically the same thing as what was below it. Um, I already looked at those. Oh, it says balance boards are different colors. I wonder, I'd like to be able to get to that one there. I don't really see a, a good way. But I, I've got a step there, but then not so much. Yeah, this is what I do. So this pallet, all right, I think I'm good. This is what excited me about this one, is this box here. Uh, it's pretty small, but it's cologne nonetheless. These are bigger, uh, $10.99. I'm guessing that's per bottle. I doubt it's for all three. This is probably just how they're shipped. So an original price of $10.99. So not a crazy value. Maybe some of this, there's Adidas down here. Maybe some of this can go on eBay. Otherwise it'll be a pretty good hit during the sale. We've got protein powder and that's good. It's currently March like 5th or something. So that'll last for a while. Deodorant, that one was open. Uh, let's see, you know, stuff like this. Oh, that, that's open. And move part of it down there, but this will possibly go on eBay. Here is the other blue wrap palette. Let me get over here. Don't try this at home, folks. What's this? Oh, it's those trays. All right, so we've got this. Um. This is another, this probably just fell off of that pallet. They were probably next to each other on the truck. So we've got some sort of piece of furniture there. California Pure Minerals. Some, what is this, essential oils? I don't know, facial hydrator. That might be worth something on eBay. All right, let me. I can kind of stand there, but there's not a lot of space. Let me cut some of this open. All right, cut a bit open, but I see a price tag up here. I'm curious what store this came out of. Ah, can you see that? Does anyone know where that store is from? Bargains in a box. I don't know, I've never heard of that. That could also be the brand, maybe. The try me button does nothing. That looks like a thrift store tag. 
I don't know if this came from a major retailer or not. All right, let's duck down here. What do we have here? Cups, I guess. Bold cups. Uh, we've got a scuba set. We've got some martini glasses. More of this Halloween decor. Yeah, I'm not getting a great look at it. I'm kind of crunched down in here. Oy. I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to see on this one. This was a good palette. I already showed you about as much as I can show you on that right now. Let's see what's in there below the cups. I got to get out of here first, though. I wonder if I can climb over this way. Maybe. All right, I gotta get these cups off first, then we can get to the palette. So this is interesting, these aren't just paper cups, they're branded from something. Kona Ice? I have no idea. So, that's what these are. Look where this palette once lived. So I'm in a uh, hidden Facebook group. I don't know how well hidden it is, but it's uh, only for Toys R Us former employees. I managed to weasel myself in when they were closing, so I just posted it there. This looks like boxes, but if you look under there, there's more stuff down there. This stuff is so dusty. Looks like we've got a lot of school supplies in here. Um, Blue Sky. That's a relatively big brand. I've gotten this on Walgreens and Office Depot. Uh, let's see if there's any branding on here. No, I'm looking for branding from stores. LED lights, that looks like Lowe's, I think. Obviously, most of this stuff didn't, holy dust, didn't come from Lowe's. That, I don't know if that's a Walgreens brand or not. Yep, Walgreens. So this might all be out of Walgreens. Oh, notebooks. And these planners are from 2016 to 2017. This stuff sat in a warehouse for a long time. I mean, I only paid 3,500 bucks for it. So I'm not too upset with it. But now I see why it was only 3,500. Oh, I see some exciting. Eh. Just a little notebook. So a lot of this is gonna go in the trash. Or recycling, I should say. This looks like it's gonna be mostly notebooks and these little dry erase things. So what I might do with this palette is just put it out on the sale day and let people dig. Justin Bieber! Oh, oh. So you can make it look like you're hanging out with uh, the Bieber. I'm trying to get this on camera so it looks like I'm there. All right. All right, this one's not fun. This is probably gonna be the best, one of the best palettes in here uh, because a lot of this stuff might go on eBay. Uh, this is CVS. Um, anti-aging therapy, but any of this type of stuff is probably gonna be expired just based on what I'm seeing and all the other things. It doesn't look like a lot of medicine though. It's a first aid kit. I don't see a date on here. What about this? I'm trying to find an expiration date on something. I don't see a date. Oh, eight. Oh, you can't see that. Eight of 19. Eight, seven. So this is probably the manufacturer date. And that's probably the expiration date. A lot. Expires 2018. 
But, you know, we got stuff like this that doesn't expire. This, oh, that's just a case. And the blades, and that's probably going to be expired. More blades. Blade is the brand. Uh, what do we have over here? Hot and cold pads. A water bottle. These are electric toothbrushes, the little one-time use ones. Well, one-time use until the battery's dead. Um, given the fact how old it looks like this stuff has been sitting, I don't see a date on here. Uh, I'm going to say pretty much any consumable like this is probably going to be expired. Band-Aids. Mayonnaise. Never mind. It's healing ointment. Well, technically so is mayonnaise. Uh, I don't see any dates. We've got gentle tape. That's the tape that soothes you and takes care of you. Tampons. Deodorant. You want to get rid of your otters, you get the deodorant. Uh, another razor. And I don't know if these CVS brand razors are worth anything on either, but they'll definitely sell in the warehouse sale. Oh, wonderful. NYX, that's a good brand. But again, I'm going to need to look up, I'm assuming that's the batch code. Let me look that up before I sell it. If I'm going to sell it online, that is. Almost guaranteed going to be past date, though. You kind of get an idea of what's in here. More hand sanitizer. Put this stuff on eBay. Not going to do that. But it is funny that people are doing that. Or maybe it's not funny. I don't know. It's more funny that people are buying it. Anti-aging therapy. It's got a lot number on it, but no expiration date. I have to look that up. This was neat. It's a spray. There's no bottle in it, but it's a spray applicator so you can get to your back more easily. I wonder if it'll work. Oh, it's probably got to work. Well, nope, fits most standard continuous spray cans. You can't read that. So, um... I might have to keep this. All right, you get the idea on this one. More tampons. That's, not only is it damaged, it's empty. Oh wait, no, that's probably it. Lady stuff. All right, I'm going home. That's all I got for today. What's this? I don't know. First I thought it was one of those balance boards, but it doesn't look like it. Oy. Let's just glance through and see if there are any more interesting pallets worth digging on right now. Let's take a walk over here. Seriously, this stuff has been sitting forever. These sandbags, I almost wonder if there's like a full heavy bag attached to it or if it's just the base. I'm not sure. Um, these I pulled, here we go. They're plastic gloves made for food service. I could probably, I'm, I'm in debate if I'm going to sell it by the pallet or individually. Um, what's this? This is a pretty light box. Uh, clear zo oh, straws, but it also says clear zombie. Let's find out. Hopefully it doesn't bite me. It's literally just clear straws. Okay. Don't know why it says zombie. Oh, uh, a lot of Dixie spoons. This one intrigued me because there's other stuff in here. So let's, oh, this is like a rubber. It's just a really hard rubber that almost feels like a plastic. What is this? It looks like coffee, but based on how old this stuff is. It's 
best before uh, 2019 01 so expired about a year ago. I'm sure it's still fine. I'm gonna take that, oh, you can't see that. I'm gonna take that home, my better half drinks a lot of coffee. This is like, what is this? It's like a heavy cast iron something or other. Big griddle tray or something. Blue Star interchangeable griddle charbroiler system. All right. And the rest of this looks like dispensers. Oh, uh, did we look at this? I don't remember. Seafold towel. Yeah, I think we did. Uh, we looked at this. This whole palette is these. Did I figure out what that was? Changing table pads. It says there's three of them. So that might be something worth throwing up on eBay. Uh, what else on here? That looks like it's just another dispenser. Yep. So we got an old coffee maker and a pair of shoes. I've never heard of the brand, but uh, you never know. Get something for it. Size 10. This is all, looks like toweling. Multi-fold towels, napkins, uh, Kleenex, roll towel. And then this is all those, those cake dishes. And you can see what they look like. And that's everything. I forgot I can't go home. I have all of this, not that, all of that, and all of this that needs to be hauled to the post office. I have to do that. I'm really dreading that. I forgot to go yesterday, so this is two days worth of stuff. A lot of people on a previous video mentioned that they thought I was just cutting and pasting these labels. These are actual labels. I'm not cutting sheets of paper, but a lot of the boxes are really dusty in here, so we throw a piece of tape over it just for good measure. We don't do that on the uh, the mailers here, just on the boxes. So I started going through these cake things. On eBay, one sold a 10 pack for 37. Um, there are 100 packs or 160 packs listed for like 200 bucks, if I remember right. I just looked up G23 Cake Dome, um, and these came up. I'm gonna do a little more research, but uh, there's 1,600 of them here. And I looked at these damage boxes, they're perfectly fine inside. It's just because there's extra space, you know, they don't go right to the edge of the box, that's why they got damaged. Um, I didn't check every single one, but it was just the damage boxes that I was more concerned about. My main reason was because I figured, well, if this is damaged, I can't sell it. Let me grab a couple that I can bring to bakeries as samples, but they're all still sealed, so not gonna do that. But I did find stock photos, so I'm gonna see if I can find a bakery that would take them. If I can move them for, I might try to get 50 cents a piece. I'm gonna really look to see what wholesale is on these with other brands and whatnot. 50 cents a piece, this is 800 bucks for this pallet. Remember, I paid 3,500 for all of it, um, plus shipping. Everyone always gets mad because I don't mention the shipping. Uh, so 3,500 plus, uh, give or take 1,500 shipping, but that shipping also covered the other pallets. So let's just say 1,000 shipping uh, going towards this stuff. So 4,500 bucks, if I can get 800 for this one pallet, that's uh, a good step in the right direction. Um, I'm really excited about these. This might be the best of it all. Other stuff that I could try, you know, <clears throat> a lot of restaurants use these, so I might try to sell those by, as a pallet as well. Uh, see if I can get anything for that. What else? I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I'm hoping some of these boxes, cause this box two of two, I'm hoping some of these boxes are one of two. Box two of two, these might all be the bases. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. But uh, I mean, Sentry, that's that's a good brand in this stuff, right? Let me look it up on eBay. So no listings on eBay, but that could just be because if they're sand weighted, these might be 50, 75 pounds, maybe even a hundred pounds. So. I wasn't quite thinking there. I don't see the weight on any of these. Uh, that's not to say it's not on the box. I just don't see it. But I've got, there's six, seven. Um, there's probably another, hey, it looks like another seven here. So I've got 14 of them. That's one where I have no clue what I'll do with it. I might just put them in the sale and let them go for one to five bucks just to get rid of them. 
but uh, that's kind of the plan. Even like this stuff, let me look this up. So I couldn't find anything on eBay, but I did find another website selling this uh, for, it was like 14 bucks a roll. Uh, but these are perforated sheets. In the picture, they showed cookies wrapped up in it. Uh, so again, restaurants, maybe, maybe whoever, whatever bakery buys those will buy these as well. And maybe the gloves. And maybe some of these dispensers. And maybe some napkins. <laughs> But I mean, if I give them a good enough price and they have room to store it, they'll definitely want it. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Spoons. Um, those are fat straws that are zombies, apparently. Okay, I got to get out of here. I'm actually back. This is my second trip. I got all that dropped off except for the big boxes and was leaving these behind because I figured I'd fill up the drop box. I didn't. They had just emptied it out, so I'm going to bring the rest.